business manager. If you're going to be a business, you need to act like a business. Guys, one of the best pieces of advice I got when I was beginning my business was that I need to set up an EIN because that's how I am going to take that first like a business adulting step and uh, declare myself as a business. The same way that I had to set up an EIN and set up my business, guys, it just takes a few minutes to do that. And I'll give you a link later on how you can set up your EIN. If you haven't done it yet, you really need to take that first step. In Facebook land, that first big step is setting up business manager. So if you've already set up your Facebook pixel in your ad account, now it's time to set up business manager. Business manager tells Facebook, I'm going to act like a business. I'm going to do things the right way. I'm going to have these ads set up in a way that's going to help me grow my audience, grow my business, grow my sales, and grow my impact in the world. That's going to happen by setting up business manager. If you're on right now, you've gone through the quiz, you've figured out that you need to work on setting up your business manager the right way. So I'm going to give you a tour of Business Manager, help you set it up, and then also help you know how to navigate throughout the Business Manager so you can find what you need and you can be successful as you're growing your audience and growing your business. Now, hang on tight, guys, because I'm about to take you into my computer and show you Business Manager. So to get into this site, you want to go to Business dot facebook dot com that takes you to the business manager and then if you don't have business manager yet you should see a blue button up in the corner which says create your business manager account name your business manager account um guys I'm literally using my husband to do this right now he's creating a dummy account because you're only allowed to have two business manager accounts in your own name so he's creating one because I already have two. Hit next and it's going to take you to the screen where it's going to ask you for some of your business details. This is where you're going to tell us what country you're from. If it, if the reason for this is Facebook wants to know who owns the content that's being published. So that way there's some accountability for that. So you tell us your business name, where you're located, your address, and then click over and you're going to create your business manager. Guys, it's that simple. Notice it took us just minutes, just seconds to do this. There we go. Our business manager was created. We are now officially a business on Facebook. Whoop. Okay guys, you're hit done and it's going to take you into your business manager. But you want to go to business settings. You can see it either at the top or scroll down and you should be able to see your business settings. There you go. That's actually entering business manager. Okay. Once you're in your business settings, we're going to go through it now and we're going to add some pages. We're going to add people to this. We're going to add our payment plan system to this. We're going to show you how you can set up your business manager in literally just five, 10 minutes flat. First thing we're going to do is add a business page. Now you're going to add a page that you currently are the admin over. So go on in there and type in your page. So we're picking the page. Totally clever. It's one of my, my dummy pages that I have. Um, there we go. I'm going to add the page to my business manager. Okay. So now that we've got to the page where I'm owning it, now I'm going to click my name, Levi, my husband's name as I'm pretending to be him. And I'm going to add the permission levels. I'm going to allow him to manage the content on the site, to manage the people on the site, to view the stats and click enter. I just like to click all of those for all the owners. Okay. Once you're done, then you're going to want to add extra people to the page. Now the owner gets all of those tabs at, clicked, right? But when you have an employee, you may not want to add all of them to every single permission level. So you can see here there's employee access and there's admin access. There you go guys, it's done. You want to make sure you put their email in as well because Facebook is going to send them the invite to your business manager over email. Even though you clicked on their profile, Facebook sends that link to them that they accept 
over email and they'll be pending until they accept it. So let them know to look for their that um, message in their email. Okay, once I've got that person where I've added them, now I have to add them to the assets. So that would be to the pages, to the ad accounts. Guys, notice how we're going in and we're selecting each level of permissions. I'm adding myself to the page, totally clever, and I'm adding me to, as an admin that I'm able to take those actions. Now, if you're wondering what kind of, I this this is too fast. You're telling me this in like, 10 minutes, Rachel. I want to know what all of those permission levels are. I want to know how to assign assets and what assets to assign. Guys, we cover that in our full program. This is the 10 minute version, but we do have a web class link if you want the full program. It's coming up. Okay, here you guys go. Next thing we want to do is we want to add our ad accounts here, and then we can add an ad account or we can create a new ad account, which is what I'm doing. I'm typing in um, totally clever because I'm going to make a new ad account. You can have multiple ad accounts under Business Manager. That's one of the benefits of Business Manager. You can have multiple pixels, multiple ad accounts, and it lets you have some protection if, say, you're working for someone else. You're able to access their account but not have your personal profile as um, affected by their account. Okay, so there you go. So once we're done, we assign the person that's running Business Manager the ad accounts to run. My page, my business, my person owns this Instagram account. My business, my person owns this page. So it's a lot harder for someone to hijack your brand when you've done this. It's, it's just like using an EIN and getting trademarked. This is one of those things that you do to set up your business. And here you can see pixels. I don't have any pixels yet in my business manager. I have to manually add them. Voila! Okay, now notice guys, I can configure my pixel in multiple ways. I can copy the code and manually put it in, or I can even send it to um, someone who goes in and edits, is, is like a webmaster for me, and they can install the pixel for me. There's three different ways to get your pixel set up. So once you're in, then you can set up offline events. Guys, this is just a dummy one that I'm setting up as an example for you. This is an offline event is when someone goes to your store or goes to an event that you have. So let's say they showed up in person at an event, but I want to track that so I can follow them later on Facebook. And I'm saying, hey, this person paid 10 bucks to show up at my event. And I'm going to track that as an event action so I can follow up with them on Facebook with content just for them. Okay, so you can see here, now we've set up tracking, and of everything, guys, you also have to set up permissions. So I have to go through in every single level, make sure that the people that are on my business manager have the permissions to take those actions and make a difference in my ad account. So now I'm able to go in and edit and um, track what happens in those offline events. You can also create custom conversions, and that's something, again, guys, we're going to go into in more depth, but there's different ways you can create custom conversions, and we want you to track what your audience is doing on your sites and as they're buying from you. It does no good to have a pixel if the pixel isn't attached to the register, right? It's like that barcode. If the barcode's just there, it does nothing if you're not actually in the back end seeing where that barcode is used. Okay. Here you can see we've got our business details. Make sure as you're setting up your, um, your page and your business manager that you fill out your business details as well as your um, payment system. We also want you to set up security. You want to make sure everyone on your business manager has two-factor authentication um, enabled and required from them. You also want to verify your business. This means Facebook eventually is going to send you a, a paperwork and say, where's your driver's license? Prove who you are. Prove you were EIN. Prove you are this business that you say you are and you have this mailing address. Facebook does that because they want to make sure they're getting their money, that they're being on the up and out and that they're not in trouble if an ad is portrayed in a wrong way. 
um, for, for content. So it helps us be accountable for our ads. So you can go through here, guys, and you can see all of the settings that we have. Do we want to get notifications for every single type place that we are online? If we do, we're going to make sure that those are all blue. And then here is the setup guide. Now, if this, this tutorial has been really fast because we're wanting to get it done in like 10 minutes flat. So if you want more information and you're not ready for my course yet, go to this little setup guide area and Facebook will walk you through the steps to set up ad access, to add more pages, to Facebook knows the general or most typical tasks that people are asking to do, and they've made a setup guide with those right down here. So get started on those key tasks. That's where you do those tasks. If you're wondering how to do them, there they are. And whew, guys, thank you so much for being part of that with me. Now, I know setting up business manager, setting up your ads, that is part of the equation. But ultimately, you need an active audience. We have a masterclass just for you. It's all about how to build the engagement that you need, how to stack your content, what kind of content you should be posting, how to get people to talk to your brand, how to get people to buy from you and become from strangers to fans to buyers, and then buyers who bring on more strangers and, and help your audience explode. I would love to invite you to join us in our masterclass. We walk you through how to grow your audience step by step by step. Would love to have you come join us. And uh, click below if you want in, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.